Dynamics Collective is participating in a giveaway with a few other cook groups and services. A link to the tweet will be found in my description below. Don't miss out on this opportunity, you guys. This is your first chance to end up getting a Dynamics Collective membership with your first month free. Do not miss out on this opportunity. And don't forget to take advantage of these other services as well and these other groups. Yeah, don't forget to enter. I would also like to give a shout out to one of the groups I partnered with, Fleet AIO. They have all the monitors you need, giveaways, group buys, and much, much more. So please check them out. A link to their website and their Twitter will be in my description below. Let's get right into the video. What's up you guys, it's Apex Boom. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a release overview of the Yeezy 350 Boost Antilla and the Yeezy 350 Boost Sense. Now first and foremost, before anything, both of these shoes are like region specific. They're specific to their region and their region alone. You can only cop these shoes, A, if you have a reshipper or if you're located in these regions. Starting with the Yeezy Boost 350 Sense, this shoe is specific only to Africa, Asia, and Australia. And for the Yeezy Boost Antella, this shoe is specific only to Europe. EU only. Everyone that's, that's located in North and South America, we have to wait a little bit longer for the lawn marks. That is our region specific shoe that we have. Ours has been pushed back to be to the beginning of uh, July, so we have to wait a little bit longer. But for right now, we have these two pair of Yeezy Boosts coming out. So first, starting with the reflective version of these two pair of shoes. As you guys may know, the last Yeezy release, we had the reflective pair that dropped the day before the non-reflective pair. That looks to be the same case with this release as well, but as you guys remember from the previous release, it was random. A lot of people speculated it was going to drop at 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and then 6 a.m. was when the actual time came for the reflective version of the shoes to come out. So all I can say is... Stay on your toes for the Antillas and Sense a reflective version of these shoes. Stay on your toes because you do not know. It's a shock drop for a reason, you guys. It's supposed, it's supposed to be a shock. You don't know when it's happening. When it does happen, boom. How are you going to react? You got to go for it now. Oh, wow, shocker. It just dropped. What do I do? You know, you got to go for it then. So um, just stay on your toes. Uh, stay ready. You don't have to get ready if you stay ready. So stay ready. Uh, prepare whatever bots you're using. Um, I know a lot of Shopify sites recently have been making a lot of changes, but um, bots, have, bots have been, you know, they've been fighting back and pushing forward and coming out with new methods and new features and things that like that to combat the anti-bot system that Shopify has implemented. So with this drop right here for the reflectives, all I can say is have your task ready to go. Uh, have a good high delay. So that way you're already monitoring the site. So whenever they drop, you're already good to go. Don't try to ban your proxies, try to mix them up. Someone told me a few weeks ago to try using reflect, no, reflective residential proxies along with data center proxies and try to up my delays more so that way it looks more realistic rather than like it's being automated. So that's one thing I'm gonna start doing a whole lot more and I'm gonna try to put into my task setup and what I do in my setup. So we'll just have to see how it goes. But as for right now, the only sites that I know that are dropping the reflective version of these shoes is Yeezy Supply. There may be some sites that end up getting a reflective version, but that can be one of two things that happen. It can be little to no stock or they don't have them at all. So as of right now, Yeezy Supply is the only site to have them and the only site that will drop them with the most stock possible. So go for Yeezy Supply for the reflective version of these shoes if you want to get those because I promise you the resale is sweet on those shoes. I promise you the, re the resale is awesome. Now next for the non-reflective version of the shoes. Starting with the Antillas, they're going to be dropping on a whole slew of different sites. First of course you have Yeezy Supply and then we have Adidas. Foot Patrol, Asphalt Gold, Foot Locker UK, and so on and so forth. The list, the list just keeps going longer and longer and longer for the sites that are going to be dropping the non-reflective version of the Antlias. Now, 
for my advice, my advice I would give to you guys is I would try to go for every single site that I can. Don't just rely on one type of site or one certain site because you never know what can happen. Always have a backup plan and then a backup to that backup plan. So try to go for as many sites as you guys possibly can. I promise you, you will not regret it. It gives you more chances to cop. And once you do cop, that's it, you're done for the day. You don't have to worry about it anymore. Or you can keep on going and cop as many until your heart's content, but that's that's just my advice. Next, we have the Sense Now Reflective version of these shoes. So for these shoes right here, um, of course, they're region locked to Asia, Africa, and Australia. So um, of course you have Yeezy Supply, you have Adidas. You also have United Arrows and Sons, the juice store is doing the raffle, and you also have Sneaker Boy, which is a first come, first serve release. So if you guys know if you guys live in those specific regions if you guys know of any more sites to, or any more stores that are going to be dropping these shoes go all for it um i don't know too many off the back of my hand like that so hey more power to you guys it's, it should still be a fun great release i'm looking forward to seeing everybody cook regardless if you're going manual or using the bot it doesn't matter everyone should have a fair chance of cooking the playing field is even it's all about picking your poison and having a specific game plan that you're going to go with so next let's move on to the keywords section keywords now here are some keywords that you guys could use now of course you don't have to or you can modify them any way you want to i'm not saying you have to stick with this specific order and within the way i do them um customize them or trick them out the way you guys want to but this is just what i'm going to go with here's the first batch keyword group number one yeezy 350 aunt leah minus f and f minus kids minus infants batch number two 350 aunt leah minus f and f minus kids minus infants now for the Yeezy Boost Sense keywords. Batch number one. Yeezy 350 Synth minus FNF minus kids minus infants. Batch number two. 350 Synth minus FNF minus kids minus infants. Of course, as you guys know, Adidas Boss will always work well on Adidas. For the past previous release, they were like, I don't know what type of changes Adidas made to uh to their site, but for some reason, um, bots, some bots just weren't acting right. I'm not saying all bots, but at least the one I was specifically using, um, um, everything worked well. I was able to, I was able to generate carts and everything, but I wasn't able to actually check out once I got to the browser section. And when I would click on the cart, the shoes disappeared. But what can you do about it? But hopefully things are gonna be a whole lot better this time around. So. If, you're going, if you have an Adidas bot to your disposal, go ahead and use that. The more the merrier, of course, you already know what you have to do for your specific bot. You have to have residential proxies. You can't have data center proxies. That will get you banned instantly. Now, of course, we, have, we obviously have Shopify. Um, this is gonna be mainly utilized for Yeezy supply for many bots and manual users. Um, you know, whatever bot you have, hey, that's fine. Um, just try to make sure you have a great setup. Um, don't try to have your delays too, too low at all because as you guys have known, as I've said plenty of times before, Shopify's made changes, so you had to switch up your game plan a little bit more. Someone even told me a few weeks ago, I know I've already said this, but I'm gonna say it again anyways. But someone I did told someone told me a few weeks ago to of course use try using residential proxies and upping my delays. So I would suggest you guys do the same thing and also have a few data center proxies in there as well to add some things into it so you're not just limited to just the residential proxies. But um, of course, you guys should know your usual setups, what you're going to do. Have a solid game plan. Always have a backup plan. Always have a backup plan for your backup plan. That's just how we do things. <laughs>